Hey everyone, Paul Daniels and another nightly fix. Um, something different tonight, A1502. I'm not exactly sure what problem this one has other than the fact that it just doesn't turn on at this point. Um, I'm a little bit run crazy at the moment, so I'm not really keeping tabs on things properly, which is bad for business, but uh, hopefully I can sort of worm my way through this. Anyway, we'll uh, see what we can find out. We'll just pop it open, see if there's anything visual, and uh, go from the diagnosis there. But uh, physically, it seems to be in good condition. I do like the 1502s. They are a good laptop. So if you're ever after a MacBook that's a little more punchy than the MacBook Air, uh, 1502s are good. All right, let's get into it and have a look. Even though there's a nice, fresh new wooden surface, I do still prefer to put the pad down because... It's also easy to pick up scratches. Best to minimise the harm you impose on any person's equipment. It's almost like being a doctor, isn't it? So, first task is do no harm. Don't do things like rip out JTAG connectors without due cause. There's a couple of little scratches on this, but it's nothing too severe. Okay, see if we've got any big reveal. Ah. Very clean looking unit. There's not even any dust or anything. Alright. Let's see if we can even get a hand swing going here. Nothing. No fan spin. Let's get our mag safe. We do get a green. Uh, we've got charging going on. So something's happening. No solid state drive, but that's not a problem at all. No, still got nothing. We're getting charged, but nothing much else. Let's have a look under the microscope, see if anything jumps out at us yep okay first thing we've got here is a bit of corrosion now that's a temperature sensor from what I recall I'm just thinking I also better take the battery out before I do any probing Okay, so our battery is out. And better find out what board this is too. It's a little unusual for that to be all on its lonesome self. So the Looking at the back panel, there's no obvious liquid ingress streaks or anything like that. So if we do have liquid damage in here, it'll be from something that's maybe crawled in and disabled stuff. That happens often enough. Or we might disconnect the uh, daughter board. Sometimes that can stop these things from booting. Sometimes. And sometimes it's the keyboard. We'll try one piece at a time. Okay, so that's off that. Advancement now. What I'll take that as a no. Okay, we'll disconnect trackpad and keyboard. Uh, 
about now. No such luck. Alright. Okie dokie. Let's get this out of here. By the way, for those of you who do these things yourself, please don't put this cable on the underside of the fan. And for the goodness sake, when you take the fan out, don't go ripping it in two pieces. The 1502 fan is a bit of a pain in the butt. I will definitely grant you that. But still no reason to actually tear it in half. Can't see any corrosion marks there. Oh, we could be in for a bit of a mystery one. Let's flip it over and have a look. Now, on, on first impressions under the lighting, there's a bit of a haze in this area here. Almost like it, it could just be a wash haze. It doesn't coincide with where that corrosion was. The corrosion was over here, but there's definitely what looks like a wash haze just here. Yeah, you can't really see it on the camera. Easy way to fix that. Let's have a look under the microscope and we can both share. Oh yeah, yeah, there's definitely a wash. Oh, yeah. And I believe that's the clock area. Yeah, that's just weird. Yeah, that cap's well and truly gone. Let's find out what board this is and then we'll come back to that. But I'm fairly sure that's the primary clock, the 25 MHz, 32 kilohertz RTC clock. So this board has been handled at some point. 3476. What's that? A bit of junk. Yeah, this is, it's like something got on here, someone's tried to clean it off, but it's left corrosion there. Now, I have a feeling this is the 3v3 cap. I could be wrong, but I'm guessing. Guess we'll find out, eh? Oh, what board was this again? 3476. Yeah, I'm not real good at remembering my boards. Less is a MacBook Air, and that's about it. All right, 3476. Now, where's that part that we're looking at? Something down here, C1910. And, yep, there we go. It is indeed RTC G3 Hot. So I wonder if that's shorted or it just needs a clean up. Well, it's not shorted, but we're going to go give it a clean up. I'll just get rid of it. They're fairly common. They're one microfarad, 6.3 volt. They're pretty much jelly bean type parts. Let's put the fume extractor on. I've already been having enough fun today. I've been in the workshop, the, uh, well not the workshop, I've been in the shed. And it's been quite an experience um, you leave sheds long enough and yeah there's this glorious accumulation of poop basically from cockroaches geckos and mice all of which you do not want to be necessarily exposed to but hey I'm trying to clean out the shed so in some places I've got half an inch thick of that stuff to deal with 
So fortunately I did use a mask and oh that's gone right through. So a mask using the vacuum cleaner with the HEPA filter, all that sort of important stuff. But the old brain is trying to tell me horror stories. Okay, so that would have completely disconnected, which means it would have been very unstable. Right, let's get ourselves a replacement. Yeah, oh, there's our little friend there. Not that I'm against using donor boards at all, but if I have a fresh part on hand, I'll certainly take the opportunity to use a fresh part rather than donor part. Now if this cap doesn't fix the problem then it could be the chip itself in which case yes we'll certainly be using that donor. What is stuck onto the top of this? You gotta be kidding me. This pulled out a pin from the connector. Yeah. That's not a great sign. It was one of the retaining clips there. I'm not going to try and put that back in. It's not super critical. It just means that we can't get all mainly forceful on that fan connector. see if we get a fan spin now. We'll turn off the great big fan and see if we can get the little fan. Hey, we got a fan spin. So there you go. A bit of corrosion on that cap. 
it looks like whatever it was was caused by something else in the past and it's just simply over time developed that fault just bit by bit corroding away all right so there was a bit of a different situation we only had that one tiny fault but then it always is just most cases one tiny fault uh, given that the board looks like it has been worked on before in the terms of someone scrubbed off some corrosion we can't be absolutely certain that there aren't other little spots around on the board so what I'm going to do is take this board and put it into the ultrasonic cleaner even though under normal circumstances that level of flux I probably would um, I'd probably just wash that off with the alcohol and yeah, make sure I'm happy with it after this sort of small job because it's not like I did an SMC or a large BGA chip or even a TQFP chip but the board has an unknown history it is an original original so we're going to put our mind at rest here ultrasonic it properly give it a nice uh, rinse and dry put it back together make sure it all works properly and hopefully we should all be good so yeah um, yeah it goes to show that sometimes there can be quick simple little faults it's not always a rabbit hole although as a repair person sometimes you sure feel like it's all rabbit holes uh, thank you very much for watching i'll see you guys next time till then Take care.